This is my Omron uh, blood pressure monitoring device uh, which I got it around a couple of years ago and ever since I purchased I am using it uh, once in a while. Uh, this model is a HEM-111. Uh, this is uh, fairly precise. I have even uh, managed to calibrate uh, this against a couple of other devices uh, which I got uh, and one which I got in my in-laws house as well. So this is quite uh, accurate and uh, once in a while uh, it is suggested that you check uh, you know the accuracy of these kind of devices you can calibrate you have any manual uh, monitoring devices you can check against the same or uh, if you have anybody uh, who is a doctor in your relatives uh, you can also take and you can check so that there is no uh, uh, issues and uh, in terms of its accuracy and there can be any sort of leaks uh, in these connectors uh, so you can generally check so the issue with this is uh, it takes as you can see here it takes around uh, four uh, uh, triple a cells uh, so you can use it uh, with the same and it comes for few months once you load them with a fresh you know batch of cells but the problem is it consumes a fair amount of uh, power so <laughs> so every uh, few months once you need to check uh, the batteries and uh, sometimes uh, if you leave it in the device it may leak or it can cause any sort of issue so it is better in case if they provide uh, you know a sort of you know power supply along with this device but the device what i purchased it didn't came with any power supply although it has this uh, power port but here is the catch it's a weird power port and this is the reason i'm shooting this video uh, this uh, power uh, port is rated at dc 6 volts it is a, a center uh, uh, positive uh, you know uh, barrel style dc connector pin as you can see here but this is quite different this is not like the regular ones you get so in case if you have the regular power supply connectors like this so this is the regular standard size which you can find it quite often so if you try to put it inside it won't go inside so this is where you need to again uh, get the proprietary you know power supply unit from home run because it has some kind of weird feature where it, it has to short this uh, terminals then if you put the batteries it is going to work so there is some fair amount of tweaking is required and uh, that is the reason i thought let me just you know take it apart and uh, let me connect my own uh, you know dc power supply jack and remove the one which they have provided so in case if you are uh, attempting to do so i suggest uh, you have to do at your own risk be very careful because you are uh, uh, you know dealing uh, instrument where it is sometimes can be used for uh, highly critical situation so don't do in case if you are not sure what you are doing so so you can uh, remove the screws and you can open this uh, top uh, cover as you can see here so once the top cover is removed you have this uh, lcd panel and below that you have this uh, board and other stuff so if you see here the battery terminals are being uh, connected to this board and this board it also has this connectivity to this you know direct power supply so this is where uh, you may get that proprietary uh, you know power connector and it has these three pins the reason they have provided the other pin is they generally short two terminals so that when you take that you know power uh, uh, you know power supply pin you know the two terminals will be short circuited and then it senses that you know there is no external power supply and it enables this battery supply so this is where you need to tweak that you can uh, just remove that because this is something i did many months ago i thought uh, after some time to shoot this uh, video so that is the reason i'm not able to capture the same live in the camera so if you can lift this portion of course it depends on the model which you have and all those things so if you lift this portion this is the L lcd uh, stuff as you can see here so you can see here uh, this is the main board uh, let me use some pointer so you can see this is the microcontroller i suppose and uh, inside it has this uh, pump and it has all this uh, you know uh, uh, ports and uh, you know pipes so that it kind of senses the pressure at the same time it can uh, pump the air through this uh, you know port so that you can connect this stuff 
okay so that you can uh, put it around your arm and then you can monitor your you know blood pressure and as well as it uh, also uh, you know shows your uh, pulse rate at uh, you know at this uh, display on this display so you can monitor systolic diastolic and uh, pulse rate all the parameters which is required so so if you lift this you can see here it has all this stuff you don't need to disturb this area all you need to do is you just need to lift this board this board is not connected by any screws but having said that to lift this easily maybe you need to remove the screw yeah so with that screw out i hope you can lift this main board as you can see i was able to lift the same and uh, along with that even this board you can lift so when i was uh, working on the same i just uh, desoldered this uh, battery terminal so that it is more easy and um, more convenient to work underneath the board if required so you can see here it has this uh, sort of you know pressure sensor i suppose and this board have been connected to the same and this where i believe it is connected to this uh, pump unit so let me just show across the camera so that you can have a look so you can see here there's a wire here so this connects to this pump unit and uh, there's also these two terminals which connects over here i believe this is some kind of you know pressure sensor and uh, and you can see here this connects to this board and this board is the main thing where you have this one side you know battery terminals connected on the other side you have this uh, you know direct uh, power supply so you can just uh, either replace these uh, you know cables and then uh, you can uh, put your own uh, cables and then connect your own dc power supply or else you can uh, just desolder the same and then you can connect your uh, you know barrel uh, dc power connector so whichever way you can do you can do the same so here what i did is i just put this uh, hot glue so that uh, it stays in place because whatever they provided it gets you can insert it inside so i just removed the same and i hot glued the same and this is the third pin uh, which is no longer required in case if you do this modification of course what i did is um, i connected the positive and negative terminals uh, in this way and uh, this is the other uh, sensor uh, you know uh, wire so i no longer need to connect the battery so i did this uh, permanent modification so with that it works perfectly fine so i can just show a very quick demo so let me just gently put this back yep so with that main board screwed in i can put this led panel in its place this way yeah so with this it's all set and uh, Uh, we can just test the same so what i did uh, for the power supply is uh, this is the power supply unit uh, which i got uh, this is a power supply unit i got it for uh, uh, xiaomi uh, uh, wifi router and uh, this one is uh, rated at uh, 5 volts uh, dc and it has uh, the current output is around 1 amp this is around uh, 6 volts and 4 watts and still i tested this is working perfectly okay and in case if you manage to get a 6 volts power supply uh, with that rating you can even use the same and uh, in my case it is perfectly working fine i have even calibrated this and i have been using uh, with this modification for uh, uh, more than a year and it is just working fine so so in case if you do any such modification i highly recommend you to calibrate and check whether it is working as same as the other you know blood pressure monitoring devices <clears throat> so let me just connect to this as you can see it connects fairly easily in this way and uh, we can just put this stuff so one thing you should notice is in case uh, if you connect it uh, this way and if you want to test this unit uh, with, without uh, you know wearing it around your arm so it is going to inflate uh, the air into this bladder forever and it is going to inflate crazy so i would uh, suggest you to not to do the same because it is going to over inflate this uh, bladder instead uh, 
you can wear it as per the instructions around your arm and then you can test this unit so if you just wear this way i'm just wearing it around my arm so once it is secure you can just test this unit so let me just connect to the power source So it is just uh, you know powered up so once you turn on this uh, button you can see here the display is lit up Yeah, as you can see, it measures the you know uh, systolic, diastolic, and the pulse rate. Uh, since I'm uh, shooting this video, I believe I got uh, a bit more <laughs> blood pressure, so that's what it is. So you, once in a while, you can do a couple of trials in case if you find anything crazy. I would uh, highly recommend even for normal operation, you test uh, or you take a couple of samples so that you get more accurate readings. So you can just uh, you know stop and then you can uh, restart. and then you can take one more sample so let me just sit in a relaxing position yeah now it has reduced to 150 so the more i relax it is going to reduce down so this is what it is expected out of any blood pressure monitoring device so one interesting thing is in, uh, let me just stop before the same so one interesting thing you can lift and then you can see the pump in action in case if you want to tweak this uh, in case uh, if you want to connect it uh, uh, to any iot device or some kind of raspberry pi you can even do the same so that is where the fun part starts because this is something i'm more curious uh, in any way i can interface uh, Uh, to a database and then i can automate or else uh, uh, put inside some kind of uh, arduino or some kind of microcontroller device uh, uh, where we can take this measurements and directly import it to a database or something like that so sometime down the line in the future i'm thinking to hack this device uh, uh, so that i can get this uh, measurements and uh, <coughs> Uh, we can export it directly to a database and then we can have some kind of automation uh, uh, with the same or else if you have some kind of bluetooth module uh, you can send directly this uh, readings uh, through bluetooth and then you can capture it on the other end via raspberry pi or some kind of you know iot device and then you can uh, push into a database or some kind of you know cloud uh, uh, analytics or some kind of big data analytics system so this is quite interesting and it has some kind of endless possibilities a medical instrument or anything like this you know you can explore the other you know options you can explore the other possibilities with the same you could take this as a base unit and you can do your own custom projects uh, because if you are uh, experimenting with some kind of wearables or something like that you need some kind of you know prototype which you know works fine which uh, which is uh, not so expensive i suppose i paid around 30 or 35 dollars so <laughs> the same price as you pay for a raspberry pi board so this way you can uh, get a device like this and then uh, you can explore further options and possibilities uh, and then you can use it for any you know scientific uh, research purposes as well